Dubai, the World Federation of Great Towers holds its annual meeting. Representatives of 52 landmarks will be there, including the Empire State Building wow. in New York, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and the Burj Khalifa, which is in Dubai. But only one will win the coveted Technology Innovation Award. Ben Tracy shows us how the favorite is the Space Needle in Seattle. For more than 50 years, it has towered over Seattle. A needle in a haystack of downtown buildings. The Space Needle was built as the centerpiece of the 1962 World's Fair. See you in Seattle. Millions came to marvel at the technologies of the future. Touch-tone dialing and satellite transmissions made their debuts here, and the Space Needle seemed to literally point towards progress. So, I mean, it was early 60s, they're doing the race of space, let's put a man on the moon, anything was possible. Karen Olson is a marketing executive who used to work for Microsoft. She was hired by the Space Needle to make sure this vision of the future didn't get stuck in the past. Two years ago, this one-time temple of high tech didn't even have an app. More and more guests come with a computer in their pocket, you know, either a smartphone or a tablet. And so we really looked at how to help augment their experience on all the screens. So what do you do with this? So we call it SkyPad, the largest iPad in Seattle. Now visitors log into a 20-foot long digital guest book. So my name's there and then it shows your hometown on the map. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see who's been here before, you just swipe to see there, who's been here too. You can pose for pictures with a virtual version of the Space Needle. So just looking at that, it's just a sticker on the floor, but looking through here, I'm seeing a Space Needle. Right, it creates a 3D image. It'll give you a countdown. And of course, there are selfies. The regular version <laughs> or the extra, extra, extra wide taken from a camera mounted on a downtown rooftop a half a mile away. That's pretty cool. And up on the needle's point is a panoramic camera that will record a time lapse of Seattle for the next 50 years. But some areas are still pretty low tech and off limits for a good reason. So here we are in the bowels of the Space Needle. He's about to open this door, which apparently is going to uh, take us outside. Only a handful of people have ever been allowed out here. I'm just kind of crawling my way out. Yeah. It's called the Halo Walk, like said, the but getting to the Halo right is more of a terrifying crawl. Am I standing up? Yeah. They use this platform to do routine maintenance. I tried to simply maintain my lunch. They call this the halo of the Space Needle. It's 520 feet off the ground, and it is one of the best views in all of Seattle. But let's be honest, most people aren't going to want to be out here, and they're not going to let you be out here anyway. But you can now have this experience and this view thanks to technology. We are ready. Please go. These experts in aerial and panoramic photography are capturing the thrill of the halo walk without the vertigo. Bring yourselves up in altitude. Michael Franz is co-founder of Panogs, the company creating the Space Needle's virtual reality experiences that will end up as a centerpiece of the Tourist Attractions app. Today we're going to be using an array of six cameras, all pointing out in a different direction. What we will do is then take all of those, put them into a software program, stitch it all together, and create a unique experience. Using one of these viewfinders, you can see the halo walk while keeping your feet on the ground. You not only get the sensation of walking around it, but you look down and it's as if you're looking down at the ground. Yes, that's exactly it. We want to give people an experience of somewhere that they can't get. And trust me, this is one walk where you may prefer the virtual version to the reality, although the view is hard to beat. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy on top of Seattle. That's, that's a cigat he'll never have again no. on top of Seattle. Yeah. I think we should tell Ben Tracy's mom, CBS really loves her son very much. <laughs> and he wouldn't do that if he didn't want to do it. If he didn't have a harness on. <laughs>